Hey everybody, this is Aperture and in this video I'm going to show you how to correctly set alerts on TradingView. Setting alerts is really important because that way you can let TradingView watch the markets for you while you do something more useful. You can wait for the conditions to form before entering a trade and just let TradingView notify you. So let's start with a simple example. On this chart, I have the 100 moving average, and I think that the 100 moving average is a good indication for the trend on Bitcoin. So for example, if it crosses, I want to get an alert because that's the potential trend shift on Bitcoin. So over here, we have that alert button, and I will show you what functions you can use to set that alert. So we have that condition here, and that condition is the condition on which the alert will trigger. So we have the Bitcoin price, and it's crossing that 100 moving average. So you can set some different conditions here, like crossing, it's less than, it's, it's moving up, it's moving down. Um, but in this example, we're just going to use the crossing up, because the price is crossing, that moving average from below and we see it crossing up. So we set crossing up and we want to cross that 100 moving average. So we set that MA100 over here. Then we have the options. The options here are that it triggers only once. So you can have an alert that only triggers once and doesn't repeat, but maybe you want to set this alert for much longer and maybe have this alert running so you get notified every time Bitcoin is crossing the 100 moving average from the downside to the upside. So you could set that once per bar, so every time it crosses on this time frame, it will alert. The problem with this option is that if Bitcoin during the four hour, as we are on a four hour chart, would cross it, but rejects it and creates a wick and closes below, it would trigger during that bar while actually it's a false alert. So often people use the once per bar close option. That alert will only trigger when the condition is met when the bar closes. So if the four hour candle closes, that's when you get an alert. And it depends a little bit on your strategy, which one you want to use. But in general, most strategies are more valid at bar close. And then there is one option that does trigger once per minute that might be more useful for lower time frame charts or strategies with bots that need to be updated. But for this strategy, we would just use the once per bar close. Then we can set an expiration time. So maybe you only want to have this running until a certain date, but let's keep it open-ended so we can use the alert in the next few months, in the next few years. Then we have some alert actions. So over here, we can let it notify on the app. So if you have the TradingView app on your phone, you can click that and you get a notification on your application if there is an alert. The next one is show a pop-up. You can show a pop-up in TradingView, which will notify you when you are at the desk in TradingView that there is an alert. You could send an email to yourself so it sends an email when the alert triggers. You could send it to a webhook, which is often done when the alert has to be sent to, for example, Discord or a bot like Alertatron that does bot trading for you or sends information to another application. You can also click more actions. So it can play a sound. So maybe you have the TradingView tab open and aren't actually watching the screen, uh, but 
If you play a sound, you'll get notified and you hear that there is an alert from TradingView and you can open TradingView again. And you can also select the option where you send it to your phone with an SMS. Then there is an alert name and it's mostly for recognizing the alert. So let's set this to BTC 100 MA cross up. And then there is a message. So maybe we have to add a message so we know what this alert is about. Maybe you want to add something about your strategy or you can use this message if you use a webhook to give further instructions to the program you're sending this alert to. But let's keep it at this uh, because we know that it's on a BTC USDT chart, it's the four hour chart and it's crossing up the moving average with a hundred period. So let's create this one. Right now the alert is set and you can check if the alert is set by clicking on alerts. And you see that over here, there is the BTC 100 and May cross up alert. If you want to edit the alert, you can go to that cog and click edit. And you see the same options here selected. You can also pause it if you don't want to have it or you can delete it. So it is removed. There is also a great way to test alerts. So for example, let's pick this alert and it's really awesome to just see what the result is, how you get a message and how it looks in TradingView. So, you know, make sure you test this out. Uh, for example, if you have the Bitcoin chart, you could set it to greater than and then use the value. So we want to create a condition that always fires so you know how that alert looks. So let's set this to greater than value zero. In most cases, Bitcoin will have a value greater than zero. So this would trigger. Then you have two options, only once or every time. So let's do this only once. Let's keep it open-ended. Also, let's select in this window to show a pop-up. So we see that pop-up when this alert trigger. And once I click save, you will see that this alert will trigger instantly. There it is. We have the alerts. We see the message. We see the title from the alert and we can go to the chart or we can just ignore it and press OK. Over here, you can also see the alerts lock. So if you missed the alert or just clicked it away, you can always go to that alert tab and you see in the alerts lock that this has been triggered. So you can see the condition and you can always see in the lock what alerts have been triggered. Thank you for watching. This was my video on alerts in TradingView. Hopefully you know now how to set them correctly. And if you have any questions, visit us at theburbness.com and join our community.